and you've been together for a year and how did you meet? Best friends, I guess. Best friends. <laughs> yeah. On the playground. <laughs> no, 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 friends. They, you just been friends forever and then somebody decided, gee, let's start a band. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so then how do you approach your, your band as far as did you just start getting together in somebody's basement and jamming out and seeing some songs maybe that you liked and trying to play them? Is that living room? Do what? In the living room? You took over your mother's living room. <laughs> oh, it's always the drummer's mom, right, Mike? Always. It's always at the drummer's house. So every Saturday you go to the School of Rock, which is why you're here anyway, because you won the big show. That's right. So props to School of Rock and what they're doing over there, right? Props to Kelly and your teachers, and give a shout out to your teachers right now. Wes. Wes. Oh, Wes. Say, what up, Wes? <laughs> what up, Wes? <laughs> yeah, Wes, look, they're here. We're working on... Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and walk upstairs. I'll show you the control room. <laughs> And Peg, Marshall. This is a Marshall as well. Uh, Fenders, Bogner. And Mike has every toy wow. that you could ever want. Because he thinks, you know, he who dies with the most toys wins, he's going to win. <laughs> Definitely hands down, because he has every toy that's ever been made. So then you have all your processing units so that you can take a sound and make it sound like whatever you want it to. If it's not gritty enough, there's tools to make it grittier. And if it's not clean enough, there's tools to make it sound cleaner. Because every sound that you make in a studio depends on what your signal, which is whatever your instrument is. If you're singing, it's the signal you're putting into the microphone. Mm -hmm. If you're playing, it's the signal that's going through your guitar cord, through whatever signal path you're sending that through, so that you can uh, tweak it and make it sound like what you want it to sound like. So if you've heard something in your head when you're writing an original song, if you're like, gosh, this would sound really good if it was really clean and whispery, mm -hmm. well, then there's certain gear to make it sound like that. So that's really um, why when you go into studios, they have all of these big racks that are all lit up and blinking. And then this is your console. And what this does, it's like a big routing machine, kind of. In the, in the best way I can explain it to you. And um, you have what's over here is this is a patch bay. And this routes the signal from wherever it's coming out of, whether it's a microphone or a guitar, goes into here. And then it routes through the board. And this is where he can put whatever effects on that. Um, this is a, um, a program called Pro Tools, which we use here. And it's used in most major studios and um, it's a really great thing but it doesn't mean that you don't have to play well even though we can make you sound better we still want you to sound the best you can sound going in
Thank you. Thank you.